Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica present... Mr. District Attorney, Champion of the People, Defender of Truth, Guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Mr. District Attorney is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica. Ipana for the smile of beauty, Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Ipana, Sal Hepatica. And it shall be my duty as District Attorney not only to prosecute to the limit of the law all persons accused of crimes perpetrated within this county, but to defend with equal vigor the rights and privileges of all its citizens. Tonight's case of the unknown source is particularly vital, ladies and gentlemen, because it concerns a lawyer, or at least a man who was once entitled to practice law. Here, indeed, is an infuriating and sorry spectacle. A criminal whose mind was keen enough to attain the privilege of the bar, but warped to the point of degrading himself and his profession. We begin in the lobby of the Revere House, an inexpensive hotel catering to young career girls here in our city. Honey! What? Honey, Bartlett, wait up. I just saw you get out of the elevator. Gee, have I got news. Oh, uh, it's you. Look, I, uh... Don't you remember, honey? We were talking last night in the soda fountain downstairs. I'm Alice Stratton. Oh, well, sure, I remember, kid. I'm just in a hurry, that's all. Oh. That gentleman sitting over there is waiting for me. Oh, you got a date, huh? Gee, lucky you. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, you could say that, I guess. Well, I'll see you around, Alice. Oh, but I haven't told you. Remember I said I worked in the district attorney's office? Oh, you remember, honey? I told you when I came from Sheboygan I got a job typing there? Yeah, yeah, well, that's just great, kid, but really, I've got to go. Oh, well, this won't take a minute, honey. Well, anyway, guess what? Yeah, what? Miss Miller, that's the district attorney's private secretary, she's gone on a vacation. And what do you think? I'm going to substitute for her. Isn't it thrilling? I'm going to be the district attorney's secretary. Oh, uh, wait a minute. You know what? Can you imagine? Well, I've never even seen him. And I'm going to be right there in his own private office while Miss Miller's on vacation. The DA himself? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I start tomorrow morning. Miss Miller came down to the bullpen where all the typists work and chose me herself. Mm, I see. Well, What's the matter? You don't seem excited about it, honey. Gee, a wonderful break like that and everything. I'm just so thrilled. You've, uh, you've never seen the DA, hmm? And he's never seen you? He will tomorrow. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, come on, um, Alice. Uh, come on with me. Well, come where, honey? I don't understand. Oh, it's just an idea. Oh, uh, Jimmy. Good evening, honey. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Jimmy, this is a girlfriend of mine here in the hotel. This is Alice, um... Alice Stratton. Alice Stratton. Meet Jimmy. I'm very pleased to meet you. Yes, thank you. Now then, honey, shall we be going? I, uh, just wanted you to hear Miss Stratton's good news, Jimmy. Starting tomorrow morning, she's going to be private secretary to the district attorney. What? I'm so thrilled. His regular private secretary is on vacation, and I'm going to substitute for her. Are you really? Uh Uh-huh. I, uh, knew you'd be interested, Jimmy. The D.A. has never seen Alice, and she's never seen him. You don't say. I just had to tell Honey about it. Honestly, I'm so excited. Why, it might lead to just anything. You're looking for something, Chief? Uh, yes, Harrington. Have you any idea where Miss Miller keeps my sunglasses? Your sunglasses, Chief? Yes. She usually puts them right here on my desk. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me. Ain't they sending up some girl from the bullpen? Uh, no, to take Miss Miller's place while she's away. Yeah. Yes, I think she did say something about it. She said she was coaching the girl during lunch hour. Yeah, Miss uh, Stratton or something, wasn't it? Uh, something like that, oh, I believe. Oh. Yes, yes. Excuse me, may I come in? Well, yes, of course. What is it? Uh. Oh, you're the district attorney. Yes, I am. Is there something you wanted? And uh, you'd be Mr. Harrington. 
Oh, oh I've heard about you. Oh, you have? Oh, I certainly have. <laughs> um, I'm Alice Stratton. Yeah, who? From the bullpen. I wouldn't have been late my first morning, Mr. District Attorney, but honestly, this office is so upside down. I see. <clears throat> uh, you are to work up here while Miss Miller's on vacation? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although, really, I don't see how Miss Miller got anything accomplished at all. Mm. Why, the files. Now, honestly. Miss Miller does okay. Oh, I'm sure she does, <laughs> Mr. Harrington, in her way. Huh? Uh, was there anything you wanted, Mr. District Attorney? Why, uh, uh, yes, yes. If you'll take notes, please. Mm -hmm. I want to discuss the Nick Venice trial with Mr. Harrington. Uh, Nick Venice? Yeah, yes. there's a folder on him over on that table, Mr. Stratton. Oh, thank you. You are nice. <laughs> I am? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not on that. Well, let me see. Where were we? Uh, pretty boy Venice, Chief. Oh, you're yeah. going to trial on him this week. Yes, I hope to. I've got just about all I need. Well, it ought to be first degree, Chief. He sure put the B on that girlfriend of his. I uh, yeah, found the folder. Oh, yes, thank you, Miss Stratton. And now, if you'll just take notes as we talk, please. Yes, sir, I will. Yeah, uh, who's defending him, Chief? Venice? Uh, Jimmy Appleton. Uh, he got Nick out on bail on a technicality. You mean this Appleton ain't disbarred yet? There's always hope. And as for Venice, I think we'll have clear sailing. Well, I'll be glad to check him off my list, Chief. He gives me the creeps. Yes, he ought to. Well, the material I've collected on him is absolutely astounding. The fellow's ignorant, rude, arrogant, definitely below normal and intelligent. You're telling me I was downstairs the night they booked him, Chief. Why, that guy even wears perfume. Yes, I know. That's part of the picture. Big, uncouth, ignorant killer, dressed in a loud suit, a fifty-dollar necktie, and reeking of cheap violet perfume. <laughs> this is going to be some trial. Well, let's not underestimate it, however, Harrington. Well, Jimmy Appleton's a tricky defender, and that's a mild word for it. Appleton is that? That's right. Uh, you'll find the name in the folder. Oh, thank you. Well, I promise you this, Harrington. Appleton can pull all the tricks he knows in that courtroom, and I'm still going to nail Nick Venice cold. <laughs> Put the food on that table, Nick. No, no, no. That table over by the girl. I know, Jimmy. Here, huh? That's right. Now untie her, will you? Listen, what am I around here? You're my client, Nick, remember? In my hands, in that courtroom tomorrow, lies the answer to whether you live or die. You're getting paid for it, Shyster. Mm -hmm. You amuse me, Nick. Untie Miss Stratton, please. I am. Excellent. Now the gag from her mouth, if you please. Hold still, baby. Get away from me. I'm just untying you, baby. Hey. You're okay, you know. Ain't you, Jimmy? Okay. Get away from me. Help! Help! Oh, come now, Alice. I should think after 24 hours you'd be calmed down. There's food on that table. I demand to know the meaning of this. You can't keep me here like a prisoner. Oh, yes, he can, baby. Hey. You like violet perfume? Smell. Don't touch me. That will do, Nick. We leave Alice alone in here to enjoy her dinner. You can't do this, I tell you. Let me out of here. In due time, Alice. Until then, do try to relax, won't you? Come, Nick, this way. She's okay, you know. Funny smooth. Come back here. I demand you. What's she fussing about now? Oh, honey, my dear. I didn't realize you'd come home. Hiya, honey. Hi, Nick. Hey, your girlfriend. She's okay. How is she, Jimmy? Alice? Confused, I'd say. I hardly think she realizes what we've done. Neither does the D.A. Oh, it's a tough racket being a secretary again. I've been at it since 9 o'clock this morning. He assumes you're Alice Stratton, of course. He does. Good. Now then, about our client here. Me? You needn't bother trying to follow this, Nick. Rest assured, I have your interests at heart. A chicken there, you know, she's... All... Later, Nick. Well, honey? You've worked on Nick's case all day. With you? Sure, with me. There's the envelope. It contains what I want? Yeah, the works. His brief, copies of his notes, copies of his plan for trial, description of all his evidence, everything. And I made an extra copy of everything I typed for him. Splendid, honey, splendid. I, um, uh, I've been a busy girl, Jimmy. Do I get a reward? My dear child. Can I go in and talk to her, No. Jimmy? Maybe she's lonesome. I said something. no, Nick. As for your question, honey, the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, keep on being Alice Stratton, my love, and you'll get... Everything your heart desires. Oh, you 
You'd be surprised, Mr. Harrington. Yeah. Why, I've saved every clipping about you from the newspapers. You have, Miss Cretton? Mm-hmm. I certainly have. Oh, you'll laugh, but I've even got a picture of you pasted on my dresser at my hotel. No kidding. Mm-hmm. A picture of me. <laughs> Why, I told you you'd laugh. <laughs> Incidentally, my name's Alice. Yeah. Well, oh, oh. Oh, you're here, Harrington. Yeah, good. You, uh, had some calls, Mr. District Attorney. Yeah, how did it go, sir? In just a minute, Harrington. Oh, Miss Stratton. Yes, sir? Will you tell whoever's waiting I'll be delayed, please? I want to talk to Mr. Harrington. You'll be delayed. That's yes, right. Yes, sir, I'll tell them right away. Hey. You look worried, Chief. Nothing went wrong over at that courthouse, did it? Harrington, I simply can't understand it. I had to ask the court to recess until tomorrow morning. Under Nick Venice trial? Yes. Why, I thought that was all set up, Chief. Yes, it was. And that's just the point. But so help me, Jimmy Appleton was prepared for every move I made. What? I tell you, it was uncanny. Almost as if the man had read my mind. Why, he even knew I intended to put the cab driver on the stand first. What? Oh, Chief, he couldn't have. Why, he only decided that yesterday. Well, he knew it. Yes, and he had prepared notes on his objections. I tell you, Harrington, it was beyond understanding. Hey, you got a delay, you said. You? Well, just until tomorrow morning. But I don't get it, Harrington. No, I just don't understand it at all. Was he burned up, Jimmy? <laughs> His face was a sight. Oh, that's delightful, honey. <laughs> then how did he spend the afternoon? Oh, he made a whole new set of plans for when court opens in the morning. Do you have a copy? Yes, I put it on your desk. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. <laughs> oh, and this Harrington character. He was telling the DA about some raid he's going to pull tonight. Oh? Yeah. He's going to knock over the Green Hat Club at 9 o'clock. That's interesting. Remind me to call Lou Woodruff. Mm-hmm. I'm almost sure I can sell him that information. Hi, honey. Hi, Scheister. Well, if it isn't our boy, hi, Nick. Thought I told you to stay off the street, Nick. Been gone an hour. I was getting the papers. Hey, my picture's all over. I've seen the papers. Now, will you leave us alone, please? Honey and I want to work. Not in there. I was just going to see if she's thirsty or something. Oh, Jimmy, how's the kid, by the way? Somewhat difficult, I'm afraid. Oh. Can I, Jimmy? I won't bother her or nothing. What? Oh, yes, go on, go on. She's some dish, you know. Got a red dress, too. I like red. Now then, honey, I think first we'll go over the eminent district attorney's plan for tomorrow. Hey. Hey, little girl, you, you sleep or something? What do you want? No need to get on your high horse, sister. Just came in to talk to you. What do you want? What in the world is happening to me? Come on, come on. Sit down and be comfortable. Oh, please. Sit down, why don't you? Hey. Hey, you like perfume? Smell. Your name is Nick, isn't it? You mean you ain't never heard of me? I'm Nick Venice. Oh, listen, Nick, you can help me. Please help me, Nick. I'm scared. Ah, that's no way to be. Little girl like you. You're okay, you know, kid? You will help me. You'll tell me what they're going to do to me? You got nice arms, kid. You're nice and tan. Oh, please. I'll move I away. I said don't pull away from me like that. You're hurting my wrist. Go on, go on, pull. Oh. I could break your wrist just by squeezing my fingers together. I said, help! Help! Now, shut up. You want to get Jimmy Sorpin? You lousy little cat. Shut up. I won't shut up. I won't. Help! Why, you... No, will you leave me alone? Why, you think they slap me in the kitchen. Will you come back here? Get out of here. Get out. Nobody slaps Nicky Fennis, little girl, but nobody. Come here. I didn't mean it. Oh, please. Please, won't you leave me alone? You rotten little cat. You ain't going to hit nobody again. Oh! Some dame, smack me, will you? What in the world's going on in here? I... Nick! Honey, come in here. Listen, Jimmy, this crazy mink, you slap him. Honey! What's the matter, Jimmy? Did you what? Hey, what's the idea? What happened to her? I've been trying to tell you. Just got mad or something, Jimmy. Will it... Will it be okay? Okay. You blundering boob, this girl is dead. <laughs> Stratton, innocent victim in a monstrous plot, dead. 
We'll hear what happens next in this unusual case in just a moment. But first, here's an important question. Tell me, who should know best the difference between toothpaste? Who should know best the difference between toothpastes? Why, just one man, your family dentist. For through study and experience, your dentist has become your authority on the care of your teeth, the health of your gums. So don't depend on just anyone. Ask your dentist about Ipana toothpaste and gentle gum massage. So many dentists recommend massage. And very important to you, a nationwide survey also shows more dentists recommend Ipana toothpaste than any other dentifrice. And more dentists personally use Ipana than any other toothpaste. Yes, Ipana wins wholehearted approval from those who know best the difference between toothpastes, the nation's dentists. Ipana's unique formula actually stimulates gum circulation and with gentle gum massage aids the health of your gums, the brilliance of your smile. Help your dentist help your smile. Begin now getting your new Ipana smile. Taste the fresh flavor. Feel the cleanness. See the sparkle. See how you look with an Ipana smile. Remember, for healthier gums, for brighter teeth, for a cleaner breath, Ipana toothpaste and massage. And now back to Mr. District Attorney. She is, Chief. Nobody's touched the body since I threw a blanket over it. You've been here how long, Harrington? About 20 minutes, Chief. I tried to get in touch with you right away, but... Strange. A girl dressed like that in a district like this? Yeah. She's no waterfront character, Chief. About uh, 23 or so, wouldn't you say? Yeah, something like that. Have you checked the neighborhood, Harrington? I was doing that when you drove up, Chief. We can't get much on tire marks. All the trucks in the south end of town dump here at the river. Yes, I know. Of course, the dame's little, whoever she is, and somebody could have carried her from that alleyway, got scared, and didn't even drop her into the water. Yes. What about the cause of death? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, Chief. Look, she's got a terrific bump here on the back of her head, mm. and it looks like a broken jaw. I bet either one of them could have done it. Yes, well, we'll get the examiner's opinion when he gets here. What about identification? Not a thing, Chief. No purse, no gloves, nothing. Hmm. They even tore the label out of her jacket. Oh? And that's another reason I thought you ought to have a look. This is strictly a professional job. Yes, yes, it seems to be. Well, let's get to work on it, Harrington. I tell you, I just tapped her a little, Jimmy. I didn't mean no harm. Harm? The girl's dead, Nick. Don't you understand that? You're on trial for murdering one girl and you kill another. Nobody knows it, Jimmy. We got rid of the body, didn't we? I know it, my friend, and don't forget that. Yeah? So what do I pay you for? I am an attorney, Nick, not your personal bodyguard. I resent a thing like this happening in my apartment. So go ahead and resent. I got to... That is beside the point. I've got to come up against the district attorney in court in the morning this kind of thing unnerves me. You'll take care of the DA. Honey got you all the dope, didn't she? You live a simple life, Nick. How you've managed to survive is remarkable. <laughs> I got a smart lawyer. My dear boy, I hope and pray you're right. <laughs> Yes, Doctor. And if I'm not here, Harrington will be. Yes. Yes, call as soon as you can, will you please? Oh, and one thing more. Will you send up that report you did on the victim in the Nick Venice murder? Yes. Yes, that's right. The waitress. Yes, thank you, Doctor. Chief. Oh, come in, Harrington. I was just going to phone for you. Chief, I got something that's... Yes, well, I haven't much time, here. No, Chief, listen to this. That yes. kid we found down by the river last night? Yes, yes. Skippy took a set of fingerprints off the body, so I checked them against the master file. And? Get this, Chief. That girl is Alice Stratton. Alice Stratton? Yeah. 
Harrington, what are you talking about? Sir, help me, Chief. It's true. The kid we found dead last night is supposed to be your secretary while Miss Miller's on vacation. Yes, but that's impossible. The Stratton is right outside. I was just going to send for Chief, it's a positive identification. You know yourself, all the employees around here have their prints in the master. Yeah, you checked carefully? Carefully? I checked four times. I couldn't believe it myself. Well, then this girl outside is... Say, wait a minute. Chief, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. About how Jimmy Appleton knows so much about what goes on in this office lately? Yes, find out if Appleton is connected with that raid that backfired last night. I did, Chief. Yes? He's a personal friend of Woodruff, the guy that owns the joint. Well, this is beginning to come clean, isn't it, Harrington? (laughs) Appleton's success in court and the empty gambling club when you staged the raid? Clean? I'm going to pin that little girl to the wall. Get her in here, Chief. Let's find out what this is. No, no, let's wait, Harrington. Let's wait. Wait? Yes. With that dame out there spying on you, Chief? Why, there's no telling who she is. We can tell, all right. I think we'll play this young lady right into our hands. I can't believe it, honey. Are you sure you copied this accurately? Jimmy, I tell you, he said it himself. He dictated the memo and then went out to the courthouse. Leaving Harrington in the office? He's still there, I guess. I said I had a sick headache and had to come home. What's it all about, Jimmy? I didn't get it. It seems, Nick, we're about to have a visit from the district attorney. Yeah? At your place? So he informed Honey when he dictated a memo this morning. Are you sure, Honey? I tell you, he said he was coming here at 8 o'clock tonight with new evidence against Nicky. Me? What's the bum up with me? Your life, Nicky. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. You think I do? It's after 8 now. You better slip out the back way. Certainly be confused to find you here. Confused? Are you kidding? Hey. Somebody's at the door. Oh, Jimmy. All right, be calm, honey. No, don't go. You might have someone posted downstairs. Yeah, but I can't stay Get here. into the other room and keep the door shut. Go on, dear. Hurry. For Pete's sake, watch it, Jimmy. This isn't good. What do you want me to do? Just sit still, Nick, and don't say a word. Yes? Why, it's my esteemed colleague, Mr. District Attorney. May I come in, Mr. Appleton? It's late, I know. Late? Nonsense. Oh, you know my client, of course. Vividly. As a matter of fact, Nick, it's about you that I've come. What's that mean, Jimmy? This is a business call, then. I'm disappointed. Oh, you won't be, Appleton. I have here a rather interesting document. A completely new kind of evidence against Nick in this envelope. May I see it? At this time, no. Sorry. Let Jimmy see it. What's that, Venice? You heard me. Hand it over to him. Nick, put down that gun. Yes, Venice. Isn't it unwise to draw a gun in your circumstances? I said hand it over. I'll show you why I got this gun, wise guy. I'm getting sick of this, see? Now we're going to play this game my way. With a gun. That's right, Doc. Yeah, sure, I've been waiting here ever since the chief left. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I got that right. No, no, that's all he wants to know. Huh? (laughs) Do I know what to do now? Doc, we got this one timed to the second. May I put down my hands, Nick? I assure you, I'm not armed. Keep him in the sky. I need hardly tell you, D.A., I'm not responsible for my client's actions. I wash my hands of him. You pipe down too, Shasta. What do you intend to do now, Nick? Or may I offer a suggestion? Huh? Ask the young lady to come out of that bedroom. Oh, there's no need to look surprised, Appleton. I mean, Miss, uh, Miss... Well, there's a question about her name. Honey, Nick, shut up. I'm sick of this. I'm pulling out of here, but good. Honey! Well, don't tell me you got rid of it. Oh. Well, Miss Stratton, you do seem to get around. Jimmy, what's the idea? It's making a fool of himself, D.A. I give you my word, I know nothing of all this. Nothing. You pipe down. I gotta take a powder. You got any dough? Dough? For what? And Nick is in the act of escaping, I think you might say, young lady. Oh? Oh, I have a suggestion, Nick, if you're interested. Yeah, what? There's a rather interesting memo in that envelope I brought with me. Why not read it? Nuts to it. I look shy, so I want to. You know I ain't got any cash around here. Did you say memo? 
What memo? One you couldn't have copied for Mr. Appleton here, Miss Stratton. I had it prepared after you left. Open it, honey. Uh, this? Yes, this will interest all of you, I know. You too, Appleton. Oh, Jimmy. What's in it, honey? Some more about me? Jimmy, listen. Yes, dear. What is it? Memo to James Appleton, Nick Venice, and to my secretary. Yes, that would be you, Miss Stratton. If you'll open the door, Mr. Harrington is waiting for you. You are all under arrest for murder. Flat mouth here. Now, you're going to put away the gun, Nick? Oh, Harrington, you outside? Right here in the hall, Chief. The joint's surrounded. Well, Nick? Oh, that's better. It's much better. All right, Harrington. Oh, and uh, will you open the door, please, honey? You know, a competent secretary always does. And closes it behind her. <laughs> Your district attorney will return in just a moment with an explanation of the clues in tonight's case. But first, do you know what this... <laughs> now, lots of people, that sound says it's morning again with a good day ahead. But, of course, that doesn't mean every morning. For now and then, most all of us wake up feeling dull and logy because we need a laxative. And that's when another sound is so welcome... Yes, that's the sparkling sound of sal hepatica in a glass of water. Sal hepatica. Unlike slow-acting laxatives, a sparkling glass of sal hepatica, when you get up, brings quick, gentle relief, usually within an hour. That means you don't have to feel dull and logy all day, waiting until night to take the laxative you needed in the morning. And if at the same time you're troubled with excess gastric acidity, sal hepatica helps sweeten your stomach. So keep a bottle of sal hepatica handy. Then any time you need a laxative... Morning, noon, or night... See how much faster you feel better... Thanks to gentle, speedy Sal Hepatica. And now, here is your district attorney. I'm happy to report, ladies and gentlemen... That all three members of this unusual trio... Honey, Appleton, and Nick Venice will pay the full penalty demanded for the murder of Alice Stratton. Yeah, and I'm happy to say that Miss Miller will be back at her job next week, Chief. Yes. <laughs> Boy, what a dame that honey was. Yes, fortunately, Harrington, we've seen the last of her. Hey, Chief, why don't you explain just how you put all the pieces in this puzzle together? Well, actually, we didn't connect the murder of Alice Stratton to Nick Venice until the examiner reported traces of strong perfume on her body. And not a scent she was wearing, but... One that had apparently clung to her arms for, uh, from contact with another person. Violet perfume, aren't you? Yes, exactly, Harrington. The same cheap scent Venice reeked of. The same, I might add, that we found on the waitress he'd murdered some weeks before. Sure, and on top of that, there was a nice, clean set of Nicky's prints dug into Alice's wrist, aren't you? Yes, Harrington, and that just about closed the case. I say it did. Oh, hey, Chief, what about next week? Well, our story for next week, ladies and gentlemen, is the case... Of the athletic louse. Timely and dramatic. It's one I'm sure you'll enjoy, and I invite you to join us for. And so until then, thank you and good night. Tell me, when you think about shaving, do you worry about your whiskers or your face? Better just forget your whiskers and think about your face. How your face feels and looks is what matters. To get a more comfortable feeling, a smoother shave, try Ingram Shaving Cream. That rich Ingram lather on your brush helps condition your face for the razor. You get cool, comfortable, soothing shaves. Remember, comfort means coolness. Coolness means Ingram. I-N-G-R-A-M. Ingram, the cooler shaving cream. <laughs> 